Um, this is an interesting start. I say we probably go whetstone. I said we go all three of those. We could get the pan just for the hopes of a shovel. I don't want to. I'm gonna pass on that. Pass on that and get both of those. I think that's a little bit of a better play. I believe RD uh, pretty much the exact same build. The only difference is we have coal here for that extra chance. I think that extra chance worked that or we crit and they didn't or something. Either way, I'll take that. Um, let's move you here. Boom and boom. Get that spike shows. We'll also get the garlic just because I want it. We'll use it next round whenever the spike shows get that uh, combination off. Going against Reaper here with a lot of poison. Double healing herbs. Do we win? Oh, wow. Okay, I'll take that. I wasn't expecting to see high key, but I'll take that. Let's get the space. Whetstone for the hero sword. I'm um. Should I roll here? I mean, we already got space. So, yeah, I say we roll here. Um, I'll get that other banana. I don't mind having another banana. And then we're also going to clear up two space because of the hero sword activation or a combination. Um, Pan. Looks like a future Excalibur, but we should take that one home. Good game. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's get the fanny pack on sale so we can get that combination off. A little bit more healing as well. Never bad. And blueberries. Also good. Anything here that I want? Nope. Um. Huh. I'm thinking about it. We got two options here. Seeing that... Seeing the Gloves of Haste makes me feel like I should go Falcon Blade. We could go Falcon Blade, Mana Torch. Increasing the DPS that the Falcon Blade does, and considering that it attacks twice, is never a bad thing, right? So, going Falcon Blade, Mana Torch might not be horrible. We get 10 gold next round. We also need space, so getting that stamina sack could be good. Just for the sake of space. Um, And then, hopefully, we can get ourselves a Health Potion to start getting that uh that mana torch on the field do we win this one i hope we do i want to get perfect i want this to be a perfect game come on we just beat an excalibur build too but this guy's got more banana so his healing's better Ooh, 14 critical okay 14 critical at the end there was nasty nasty work acorn collar will help with our critical so much um Let's go with Acorn Collar and we'll go Gloves of Haste and put it there. But we need this Clover. Without the Clover, we're not getting any crit. Or at least not a lot of crit, right? Because that's each Clover you gain 5%. So that's going to be 10% and then the uh, 20%. So it's going to be a 23% chance to crit versus not having that 5%. Um, So yeah. We're not really using blueberries for anything, so we could replace that. A little bit more survivability. Not too bad. Okay, going against, looks like a broom with a torch. Spike shows as well. Triple banana. Healing is on point. Um, DPS is pretty much on point too. Um, but I believe we might have more DPS. Come on, how do you have three spikes already and I only have one? Let me get my spikes up there too. It's only fair. It's only fair. Okay. And then we also got the criticals as well. His crit percent chance is 10%. Ours is 18%. I thought it was going to be 20 something. I stand corrected. But I, I mean, 18 is better than 10. So our crit should be more than his. For sure. There goes a 10 crit. Pretty nice. And we take that one home. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, Should we get stamina sack or potion belt? It's more slots. I say we get potion mahir because it's more slots. Oh, getting dragon skin might not be bad. Let's get potion belts because it's more slots. Dragon skin on sale isn't bad though. Just because of we get that we get more damage with the um empowerment and then getting that luck increases our crit chance. The block, I don't really care about the block. I just want to care about that uh the other stats on there. We can also move this. Make that a little bit better. Incorporate the blueberry in there. Roll twice. Another blueberry isn't bad because we're going to need one anyways for the health potion. Um, so I say we take that blueberry. And we also take the protective purse next round. I say that's good. Oh, no. Going against bow and arrow plus the Fortuna's Grace. 
Rotuna Grace is a lot of DPS. However, he doesn't have a lot of criticals, so that bow and arrow might not crit. But just having the bow and arrow there anyways is pretty damn nice, even though he just hit us for 18 critical already. Right off the rip, a 14 critical right there. What is this? 19% chance to crit. Ours is a 26. This is not looking great for us. But yeah, we don't win this one at all. Damn. It's okay, though. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, let's get the fanny pack instead with the blueberries. There goes our health potion that we need, which is really good. We can put the health potion here to get that mana. Um, put that there. I say that's what we do. We haven't found a Goobert, so getting a still Goobert is probably not going to happen. Um, so I say we probably just go Falcon Blade combine that with the mana torch and i say that's probably going to be our build as soon as we are able to find another gloves that's going to be our build let's get both of those but if we don't find that glove we're effed okay we're effed i'm not even gonna say the full word we're effed straight up effed going against a reaper um with a hammer a lot of food they don't have any daggers or anything like that which is good but they do have potions which is dangerous so potions might be a problem here because the game seems to be pretty tied right now but they have infinite scaling with the poison and then they also have extra survivability because of the, po uh, the potions so we should lose this one unless we crit our way through nope couldn't crit our way through couldn't crit our way through it's okay though we can't lose anymore no more l's here what do we get here though Probably piercing arrow. Let's get space because we're going to need it now. Um, and I say we probably go acorn collar here. Just for the critical. Now, how are we going to set up this piercing arrow? Um, probably do something like this and double acorn collar down here. Well, actually, no, no, let's do this instead, because our main form of DPS is going to be that torch. The torch is going to have more DPS than a hero sword, since the hero sword gives this two damage. That's going to be a four to five damage versus this two to four. So this by itself is already more DPS than the torch. And having both of the um, both of the activations on the torch is probably better. Um, Move that up by one for the mana. And honestly, we can just move this entire situation over by one. We'll put that there instead. Just so it's also inside of the speed up. That's looking decent. We can move this up for more activations like that. That's not bad. That can go there. Um, Move this situation down here, actually, so we can move that over. And get that second acorn collar in. I think that's good. And just move this up again <laughs> so I can incorporate the blueberries and stuff. The blueberries and the garlic in here like this. Yeah, like that. And then you can go there. This can just go there for actually, you know what? Put it on the, the banana. I think that's good. I think that's good. Hopefully we don't lose this one versus a bow and arrow, critical bow and arrow build with the torch. The bad thing is they have pineapple, which is really bad for us. Um, our critical will be better than theirs because we have double acorn collar. So we'll be critting faster than they can. The only thing is having that five pierce and then the additional pierce that the dude's going to be gaining is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Because that means we're dealing damage to ourselves, which is really, really dangerous. I'm not. Yep. A 40 critical right there. Crazy, crazy work. But boom, there goes the magic torch. Let's get all three of those because now there goes our Falcon Blade. We just got to set this up differently now because we need the Falcon Blade to get the, the buff from the magic torch. And we need it to get the hero sword to get the buff right now. Now, right? So. We could set up something like uh, like this and just use this for activation like that. That would work. 
Yeah, that would work. Or we go like this and then have another active one. Well, nah, nah, nah. I'd say that's probably better. Um, and then moving both of these over. Like so. And then just uh, falcon blading it right quick. Let's move this upward so we can still gain that extra speed. And then double blueberry down. That can go there. And this can just go wherever it wants for now. Blood amulet could be nice for the healing. Um, yeah. We probably don't even need that third acorn collar, honestly, but it's on sale, so I feel like I should get it just because it's on sale. Going against Reaper build, looks like another fatigue build. No weapons, just straight fatigue, so. Ooh, that was a good day. Nasty damage at the end there. Beautiful, nasty damage at the end. Very nice. Ooh. A villain sword? Nah, our stamina's already a 1.2. I don't think we can... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to incorporate the villain sword in here, to be honest. But I will get the acorn collar. I'll get the extra space as well. Or should I get blood amulet right now? I'm actually not sure which one is better. But I do know I want all my food to be on this falcon blade. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put all my food on this fellow Falcon Blade. Um, that can go there. So let's go banana there, banana the. Uh, hmm. I guess banana here. And then garlic there, and then blueberry, boom, and then boom. Right, I think that'll be okay. And then both of these can pretty much go wherever they want for the most part. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, let's, let's just go Blood Amulet. And then we'll reserve the stamina. Roll. I don't want any of that. That looks good. Okay. That looks good to me. Going against a fencing, fancy fencing rapier. He's probably going to be super duper fast because considering he's just got the ruby chunk there. He's also got pineapple, which is dangerous. Um, uh, Very dangerous, actually. Pineapple was like that direct kryptonite to fancy fancy or for the falcon blade since the falcon blade attacks twice However with us having that D oh no, you need one more you're about to die. Okay, very close. Yeah one health but Yeah, with the magic torch on us really good We need to get a ruby weapon of our own because we can increase the DPS of the ruby weapon infinitely Which would be good for us getting the goober here might not be bad. Not the goober. Sorry. Well, actually no Not sorry blood goober Blood Goober here would actually be clutch. Unironically. We just need more acorn collars. But unironically, actually clutch. Um, we could just put this last acorn collar here. And we'll go boom, boom. Or actually, no, boom, boom. I think that's better. Oh, uh, yeah, that's better. Let's get this for space. I do want to get the pineapple, so I'll just reserve it for now since I kind of just can't get it anymore. And roll, roll. That's good. That's good. I'm not going to push it too much. That should be straight. Going against interesting build they have here. Vampiric armor, hungry blade with ripshaw blade, Yugra's leaf and a shit ton of food. Interesting build. They don't have infinite DPS scaling except for their Hungry Blade scaling their DPS because it's converting that regeneration into vampirism. But other than that, I mean, that's really all they have. And we're standing toe to toe to them so far, um, which is really good. I just wish we had a pineapple. Holy shit. Massive DPS right there. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Take him out. There we go. There we go. Good game. Now we have the Blood Goobert, which is good because we can crit with the Blood Goobert, um, which will increase our healing that we do. And it increases per vampirism, so we might as well get the Blood Amulet here, um, along with the Pineapple, because we've been wanting a Pineapple. If I put this there, does it? No. Damn it. I was hoping it would work like that. Uh, or, you know what? Let's just put it there and move that back. So we could get that speed from a Falcon Blade. That was the whole purpose of me doing that. And, uh... We can go there. 
that can go there. This can go here. And this works out. That works out well. And we'll just get the protective parts for just a little bit of space. But yeah, this works. This works. Going against uh, double... Why double shovel into the end game? You know what I mean? Why double shovel into the end game? I don't understand that. Plus the light goobert. That's a lot of... Do you gain damage? No, you don't gain damage. So you're just blinding me by a lot. 70%, 100%. You're blinding me by a lot. Having the light goobert plus the shovel blinding and everything. And a bunch of food. Um, but I mean, you're just you're just, you're just going to get shitted on. I mean, that's, that's all there is. That's all there is to it, you know? Um, I want all three of those. To be honest. Hey, Loco, what's up? Let's go ahead and get this acorn collar for that. And you know what? I'm going to get the gloves of haste because I want to get the increased in um, vampirism for the blood goober. We'll also get the box of riches along with the stamina sack. I think that'll be good. So let's move that down by one. We don't really have anywhere to put the uh, banana, so we'll just leave it there, I suppose. That works. You're eating? What you eating? What about me? I'm playing a video game. <laughs> Going against a Laney, which is a Reaper. Hungry Blade, Cursed Dagger, Pananomium. Doesn't seem like a pretty crazy build, to be honest. So we should be able to take this one home for sure. Um, unless Poison is just crazy, but I'm pretty sure Poison isn't just crazy. So they'll be stunned. Nah, we're fine. We're not going to get stunned. It's only a dagger. Oh, we got to work on our stamina. I mean, he does have the moon shield, so there's that. Boom. We'll take that W. Let's go ahead and get that stamina sack with the box of riches. Another pineapple. I'll reserve it um, because I need more space. Uh, there we go. There's the ruby egg that I want. That, we're going to get that late, but I mean, it won't be too bad. Um, Let's move this entire situation over by one. So we can incorporate that banana in there. Get that to be 35% faster. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. We're going to need more space, though, to get that ruby in there. Um, But I mean, food, beans and meat with cheddar cheese on top of it all. That sounds like some taco type stuff <laughs> to be honest sounds good though going against just a bloodthorn with a lot of oh a bloodthorn plus the magic stat yeah bro your stamina usage is not gonna be great having all of those items i say we probably take this one home though yeah look at the damage we're doing to him he's not gonna have enough stamina to survive out here yep 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 thank you sir good game Let's go ahead and get the ruby egg and pray and hope that we can find space. Kind of did. I mean, we could just sell this. I don't really need it anymore. And I'm a, well, I could buy you. The double pineapple lit up. Move you up by one so I can actually put you down. Might not have been the best play, but I did it anyways. Now we have double pineapple, which is good. We have to rearrange this a little bit in the future, potentially. Potentially. I'm lacking toes, but that's a future me problem. <laughs> oh my God. Going against a ranger. Fencing rapier, hero longsword. 40 damage at the start of the freaking game. Holy crap. Another 40. What's going on here? That thing is critting like crazy, I see. Okay. Oh, massive damage on my part. With the vampirism, helps so much. That vampirism helps so freaking much. We need more activations in our goobert. I just realized that. But we've gotten this far without the activations anyway. Let's get the space. And we might as well get the blood amulet. Um, roll more space is good. Don't have any money to get it though. Um, we do need more activations on this. So... We should more than likely move this down, put that there. We need something. We can put the guard. Well, no, no, no. We could go pineapple. Let's go pineapple because it can also get the, the buff from the vampire gloves, which is good. Um, garlic can go here. This can easily just go there instead. 
Let's put that down there. Alright, now we have the activations on the goober, which is good. Um, both of the pineapples are getting the buffs for speed, which is good. I'm gonna just put that like that for no reason. And pretty much move everything back up here. All right, I think that, I did not want to reserve the glowing crown. I don't think I need a third pineapple either. So yeah, this is looking great. Going against, looks like a ripshaw blade with a magic staff, a little bit of DPS, a lot of critical. Yeah, that's a hundred percent chance of crit. No, no choice. Lots of okay, lots of blueberries. Interesting build. Our um, our Pierce is pretty much non-existent, unfortunately. And we both have infinite DPS scaling. However, we have vampirism and they don't. So our survivability is definitely way better than theirs. Look at that DPS we just did to him. Way better than theirs. Way better. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Now we got a Ruby Whoop. Let's get that space in there. Ruby Whoop can go a little bit further up. Like right there. And then we can put the critical back. That's looking good. I wish I could do something. Well, I could do that. Or like up here instead. It's probably better. So it's on both of them. So this is getting uh, too critical there. That's getting too critical. And this tail. Everything is getting two um, acorn collar uh, activations, surprisingly. Which is really good. This only has one activation though, which is a little unfortunate. I could get the shoot of Valor hair and hopefully get a that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully get space next round. That'll be the plan. In order to utilize the shield of Valor. Okay, ooh, ooh. Double Dark Saber with poison, cursed dagger, and a shit ton of health potions. Alright. Alright. This is gonna be a very interesting build. Very, very interesting build. However, I think our DPS might be a little bit better than theirs. Especially our survivability. Holy crap, we're losing. Oh, they're invulnerable. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We're gonna have to work, work double time. Double time now. Double time. No. That invulnerability was crazy. I didn't even see that glowing crown until the end. Look at that damage dealt, though. Hang on, Blood Goober is 86. His damage dealt? 200, 100. Crazy numbers. What's our healing? Healing is 43 over here. Okay. Okay. That was interesting. I'll take that L though. I'll, I'll take that L. Um, let's go protective purse. And you know what? Let's just go this. Cause like, why not? And we could just put it right there. Oh no, it needs to go down by one. Right. Yeah. So it'll just go here. We do need another spot though for the acorn collar. That works. That works, and then you could just go there, I guess. One more roll for one time. I would love to have that right now. I could sell the box of riches and maybe sell a blood amulet. Or maybe the boots plus the clover. Yeah, let's do that. Boots plus the clover for the perfect sapphire. So anyone that has shields, you pretty much don't have it. Oh my God. Double Bloodthorn, a shit ton of food. How is your stamina gonna, your stamina can't keep up with this. I'm so glad I bought that shield. Your stamina is not gonna be able to keep up with Double Bloodthorn. You only have two bananas and one stamina potion. Your stamina is gone now. Look at that. Okay, well you just use your potion. Out of stamina, we just have to survive now. Oh no, seven health, come on some, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. All it took, all it takes is a stamina potion and a little bit of bananas in order to kill me. That is crazy. We still won though, so I'm not tripping too hard. We still won. We still won. I still got my rank up. 